going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And here comes play number six on this drive. Brown, the lone receiver left. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Man open left side is Brown. It'll go as a gain of 10 there. And the Steelers are going to have a first down. And they're going to speed things up here. This offense is in rhythm now, just accumulating first downs and moving the ball downfield. Got a man. It's Brown. It'll go as a gain of 12. And it'll give the Steelers a first down. And those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. Six before halftime. One receiver left, three to the right. Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Field goal unit not out there. They want six before halftime. They'll throw now on the final play. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And they'll send Williams in motion right. They go play action here on first down. Out to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. CD, wanted to get your thoughts just on the landscape of the offseason for each of these teams. Super Bowl in the rearview mirror, but so much going on. People look at the draft a lot, but there's a lot more that goes into the offseason for these front offices, is there not? It certainly is, and then even before we get to the draft, you start with the combine, you know, that's held in Indianapolis every year, and you have about 350 of the top prospects coming together to get their physicals and interviews and on-field performance, and all that will get evaluated along with their game tape. And then you've got the free agents, all right? That starts, I believe, in early March, where now the free agents can start moving around to different teams. So your team's starting to take a little bit of shape there, free agency, because then the draft's coming up. You're trying to put your team together with new draft picks, have everyone start to, start to move in one direction. And then you have the OTAs and minicamps. We get to see them on the field for the first time, and we start to get a better idea of how these teams are going to look when the fall begins. Bryant, the lone receiver left. Here we go. One, nine. Flex round. Flex round. Check three. Time running out here on the play clock. Looking to throw. Prescott. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And 12 yards that time and picking up the first. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat, and then they put their foot in the ground and cut back sharply inside, not easily covered, and then when they catch it, good momentum built up by them as well. And able to pick up the first. Ringo, 
First down, Prescott eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant, 57 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And that one needed a little time to develop because he started lined up out wide left. He caught that on the right side of the field. And you're exactly right about the time because that's not going to be a quick developing pattern, but also great sight lines for the guy throwing the ball to see a receiver cross his face and his sight line from one side of the field to the other. That usually attracts your attention. If you think he's open, you go ahead and deliver it as we just saw there. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half. He's got a man complete. It's a big play, Roethlisberger to Brown, and even 50 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. It makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. That's caught at the three. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Marcus Wheaton was the one he was looking for. And it's fourth and three. Man, a tough spot to drop that down here, third and goal. And so many times when you analyze a play like this, you talk about the people around him and maybe his focus was gone. Sometimes just simply him understanding how close he is to the end zone and a chance to score. And it's hauled in by Rodgers for a Steeler touchdown. Eli Rodgers from three yards out. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Field it about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and on, thought there were some go. holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, Elliott. And he 